Hello everyone and welcome to Uncivil Law, where we learn through the misfortunes of others. If you're enjoying our legal education content, please remember to subscribe. It helps our channel grow. For today's case, we're dealing with Laura Loomer and being kicked off Twitter. So Laura Loomer was a uh, right wing, some might say far right wing candidate for office, and she was banned from Twitter for various things that she did. And she would like to sue some people for being kicked off Twitter. So this is the case of Laura Loomer versus the CARE Foundation, that's C-A-I-R, CARE Foundation, and Twitter. So she wants to sue uh, a Muslim organization for conspiracy to get her dethroned of Twitter. So her legal theory, just so that we can uh, all catch up, is that CARE, which is a Muslim organization, um, directed Twitter, conspired with Twitter, and forced Twitter to ban them uh, so that care is really the the powers that be controlling Twitter. That's Laura Loomer's legal theory. Based on the legal theory, you can probably determine how well this is going to go. But in any case, let's get started with this. Twitter banned Laura Loomer, a self-described political advocate and journalist, from using its platform in 2018. Twitter claimed that one of her tweets violated its terms of service. Loomer tells a different story. She thinks that CARE Foundation, a self-described Muslim civil rights group, conspired with Twitter and CARE Florida, one of CARE Foundation's chapters, to ban her account. Okay, Loomer and her company, Illuminate Media, I I Illuminate, with the double O's for Loomer, presumer, presumably. That's, I think, I think I hate the name of her company. Loomer has Illuminate Media. Okay sued the CARE Foundation. Most of the claims center around CARE Foundation activities. The, the plaintiffs, Laura Luman and her company, think that the CARE Foundation and Twitter have a special relationship, such that Twitter gives the CARE Foundation a role in deciding what ideas and voices Twitter will silence. According to the plaintiffs, CARE Foundation acted in concert with CARE Florida to instruct, to instruct Twitter to ban the account. Okay, so... Laura Loomer's theory, through Loomer herself and her, her media company, Illuminate, yeah, um, think that the CARE Foundation is the real powers that be. They're the Illuminati behind the Twitter. They are the ones that pull the strings. And they're the one that directed Twitter to delete Loomer's accounts. Okay, sure. Yeah, all right, fine. Let's press on. The CARE Foundation removed this case to federal court, which is the name for it when you transfer it from state court to federal court. So it was filed in state court. They want to take it to federal court. Now, like any reasonable person would call that transferring it, but we can't have it be reasonable because law. So removed just means transferred. It's just a name for transferred. So they transferred it to federal court, which we call removing it to federal court because we have to be difficult about it. So they removed the case to federal court based on diversity. They said, well, we want this tried in a federal court. Okay. They acknowledged that CARE Florida posed a barrier to diversity because it was the citizen as plaintiff. So Loomer lives in Florida. CARE Foundation Florida also lives in Florida. It's a subsidiary. So that would mean that we have the same state on two sides of the V. And you can't do that in federal court to have diversity. So if Loomer, Florida, is suing CARE Foundation, Florida, also Florida, then we have Florida versus Florida, you can't have diversity. But they, the, they, the, the defendants actually argue that CARE Florida was fraudulently joined to defeat diversity and should not be determined when determining the jurisdiction. So Laura Loomer, perhaps thinking ahead, perhaps thinking ahead because she wants this heard in state court for whatever reason. I'm not sure she'd actually do any better in state court to be quite honest about it, but she wants it in state court for whatever reason. So she wants to sue the CARE Foundation and Twitter and also CARE Foundation Florida. They have a subsidiary in Florida. So because Loomer lives in Florida and because the subsidiary also lives in Florida, then you'd have two Floridas, you'd have one on both sides of me, and then you don't have complete diversity, so you can't hear it in federal court. And so the CARE Foundation argues, well, actually, CARE Florida isn't really a defendant. They're only here to prevent diversity. And so you should kick them out of the lawsuit because they're only doing this to prevent there from being diversity jurisdiction. So you shouldn't let them get away with that. All right, let's figure out if, let's figure out if they are really the defendants in this action or not. The existence of federal subject matter is a question of law that we review from the beginning.
a civil case filed in a state court may be transferred by the defendant to federal court if the case could have originally been brought in federal court based on diversity of citizenship. So the defendant can move it or transfer it to federal court if the plaintiff could have filed it in federal court in the first place. So the, the defendant gets the right to transfer it to federal court if the plaintiff could have filed it in federal court in the first instance. The parties must be completely diverse. Each plaintiff must be diverse from every defendant. So you can have two Floridas or five Floridas or 10 Floridas on the same side of the V, but you can't have them on both sides of the V. That's a no-no. And here, Loomer is suing Care Florida, and they're both Florida. So that would be a no-no if it's legitimate. There is a catch, and this is the catch. If the plaintiff fraudulently joins a non-diverse defendant to defeat complete diversity, then the non-diverse defendant is not considered for the purpose of jurisdiction. So if this isn't really a defendant, but you're just pretending they are in order to prevent them from being diverse, the federal courts are not going to let you get away with this. The federal courts are smarter than that. Which defendant tried to, tra tried to transfer it? The CARE Foundation did. Yeah, the CARE Foundation did. Tried to transfer it to federal court. Not for the least of reasons that, uh, although Twitter is still mentioned, Twitter wasn't really sued because they dropped the complaint against Twitter. So Twitter isn't really a party to this thing because, yeah, that, that Twitter got dismissed from this lawsuit. So Twitter doesn't really exist in this lawsuit, even though they're mentioned. So the only people that are really in this lawsuit are CARE and CARE Florida. So CARE asked it to be removed or transferred to Florida court or to fe federal court because Twitter doesn't really exist because they, they didn't bring the complaint against Twitter in the end. Yeah, they, 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 they're, they're, yeah. So just so you're, just so you're paying attention and just so you are saying to yourself, wait a second, did I miss, did I understand this correctly? You did understand it correctly. Laura Loomer is suing that Twitter banned her, but she's not actually suing Twitter. You have correctly understood the lawsuit. She is suing that Twitter banned her, but she's not actually suing Twitter. You understand correctly for those of you playing along at home. Yeah. All right. For starters, Loomer and Illuminate offer nothing but vague speculation to indicate that Care Florida was involved in the alleged conspiracy or acted tortiously to interfere with Loomer and the Illuminate's business relationship. Though their amended complaint is rife with accusation, references to Care Florida are far and few between, and none explain how Care Florida instructed the Care Foundation or Twitter to ban the Loomer account. So we don't have any allegation of what Care Florida did. For example, the plaintiffs claim that Care Florida presented Loomer from attending a criminal trial in 2018, but they don't actually bring a cause of action based on that incident. So what does it matter? Their case is about the banning of Loomer's Twitter account. And a run-in with Care Florida outside of a courthouse does not show that Care Florida conspired with the foundation in this particular instance. So maybe Flor Care Florida did something to prevent you from attending a criminal trial. We're not even sure what that would theoretically be, but sure, maybe they did that. But that doesn't mean that they conspired with Twitter. Ah, uh, no. To sum up, plaintiffs offer nothing beyond vague speculation that Care Florida was involved in the plan to ban Laura from Twitter, and they did not rebut the Care Foundation's contention of the fraudulent joinder. Because there is no possibility the plaintiffs could bring a cause of action against Care Florida, its joinder was therefore fraudulent. In order to show that Care Foundation's supposed instruction to ban Loomer consists of tortious interference with a business relationship, a plaintiff need to show that Loomer had existing or prospective legal or contractual rights in the use of Twitter. But the amended complaint is devoid of allegations suggesting that Loomer had a legal or contractual right in Twitter. In fact, Twitter's terms of service, which the plaintiffs do not dispute, allow Twitter to ban Loomer from its platform for any reason at all. So even if the Care Foundation instructed Twitter to ban the account, it did not tortiously interfere with a business relationship because Loomer did not have legal or contractual rights in the continued use of its account. So there was no ultimate harm because Twitter could ban you for any reason, including if Care actually asked you to. They could, they could use that reason if they want to, so it's not tortious interference because you had no rights to the relationship. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Thus, that brings us to the end of our discussion of Laura Loomer versus the Care Foundation and Twitter. In this case, Laura Loomer was banned from Twitter, and she alleges that as part of a grand Muslim conspiracy. 
that the CARE Foundation, a Muslim rights organization, uh, conspired, controlled, and actually controls Twitter. And they were the ones that, that got Twitter to ban them because they're the ones that pull the strings. And the, the court says, um, yeah, no, that doesn't really make any sense. Uh, you didn't you didn't allege anything that's wrong because Twitter can just ban you for any reason on their own terms of service. So they can't really tortiously interfere because even if they said, hey, you should ban this person, Twitter can say, OK, if they want to. You don't have any contractual right. So Laura Loomer is unable to sue the Care Foundation, both because, you know, they don't have any right to the account and also because. They don't really have any evidence of anything. And even if they did, it wouldn't be wrong. So she basically loses on every possible level. And that brings us to the end of the discussion of this case. Thank you so much for being part of the Uncivil Law family. If you enjoyed this legal education content, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. We appreciate your continuing support. Until later, my friends, cheers and goodbye.